Hello! As you maybe know or maybe not, I'm Alex from the YouTube channel eDrive. In this video I like to do a hypermiling with my Renault Zoe Q90 with a SETI 40 battery. SETI 40 means it's a big battery pack with 41 kilowatt hours. I'm trying to drive as far as possible with one battery load because uh, the Renault Zoe R90 Renault said with that uh, car you can drive maximum distance with the new new European driving cyclists and NEDC up to 400 kilometers but I have the Renault Zoe Q90 engine that's the quick charging engine, but therefore it needs slightly more energy when driving. Therefore, you can only drive round about 380 kilometers with one battery load. But let's see. I I printed a, a 60 kilometers sign. <laughs> let's see if this works. I will put it to my windscreen in the back. This means if other cars will see that, I'm only allowed to drive 60 km per hour, not more fast. If I'm driving more fast, 90, 100, the energy consumption is very, very high and for sure I cannot do it with 400 km driving. Let's see how the result will be. So watch my video and <laughs> enjoy! Now it's 12.19 and the outside temperature is 27 degrees. And, and because it's that hot, I will drive with open window on both sides. But I will not try to turn on the aircon. Because if I have fresh air from outside, I don't need aircon. Here, aircon off. If, if the red light is on, the aircon is off. Because if I'm using the aircon also, the battery consumption is slightly higher because the aircon needs round about one kilowatt hour. Here I have 8450 kilometers and I make zero to the day trip kilometers. The maximum driving distance of the battery shows 270 kilometers but I'm sure this will go up if I'm drive very carefully and energy saving outside it's a very nice sunny day my first route will be from Hechingen Kaufland where is the charger where I charge my car now to Heilbronn I'm using my smartphone navigation because there I can set avoid tollways, avoid highways, only the regular roads. With the navigation inside the Renault Zoe here I cannot set avoid highways. No fast driving roads with two lanes for each direction. But on that road I need to drive fast and I like to avoid that. That's my trip. I will drive now. Outside villages I set the cruise control to 70 km per hour. Allowed here is 100 if there is no sign in Germany. But many times there are speed limitation to 80 or even 70 km per hour. Now after driving 43.1 km I still have a remaining distance of the battery load of 272 km. So I hope I will really can do it to drive 400 kilometers with one battery load, but looks good. Right now the average consumption is 10.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Now I'm in Heilbronn in front of the main train station. And my next destination will be Ulm main train station. I drove already 100 32.1 kilometers average consumption 10.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers average speed 45.5 kilometers per hour 
sure because you see there are a lot of red traffic lights also outside of the city I'm always driving behind trucks a lot of traffic very small roads well the good thing is when driving an electric car inside the city the consumption is not higher than outside because the gasoline car the engine is always running Turn even right. if you're standing with the electric car it's not now 16 20 and 25 degrees outside temperature and now we are in Schwäbisch Hall well I was living there before when I was 15 16 17 years old I went here to school for three years it was a very very nice time but since that a lot of things changed now average consumption is 10.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers average speed 45.2 kilometers per hour and here at the leaf on the right side 97 out of 100 and the nice round through the old town of Schwäbisch Hall on the right side is the Koho River here in front the Bosch Parkhasse Schwäbisch Hall that's for savings Slight for building right. up a house maybe you see it always in TV there's advertisement in Germany Schwäbisch Hall auf diese Steine können sie bauen that's the bank house here Here on the right side, my old school before. That's my school, uh, but it's very, very hidden behind the trees. Here on the left side, the airfield, that's the Wirt Airport. Maybe you know Wirt, that's a screw dealer, a very big one in Germany, and he financed that airport here. And really funny, after driving 200 kilometers distance, the battery status still shows 171 kilometers to drive with that battery load. And again, windmills on the right side, windmills on the left side, all for creating electricity. That's very, very environment friendly. I hope they will build up much more of these windmills in Germany. Here yeah, I'm driving on the lonesome small roads. Here they're fixing electric cable. Wow, I like it. Turn left. Passing by nice small villages. So slowly it's going direction sunset. I really don't know if I still can do it to go home with that battery load. Here on the left side you can see 49 kilometers available with that battery load. And here on the navigation it says 76 kilometers until I am at home. So it can be I cannot reach my destination anymore. So if this will happen, I will try to call the Renault Assistant service. It's here on the sun shield and uh, I hope I don't need to call them, but if ever I will call them so they will pick me up and bring me to the next charging station. Let's see if it works or if I really need that assistor service. Now it's getting interesting. It's going downhill very, very long. The battery status is going up more and more. You can see 43 kilometers. 
and here you can see 49 kilometers until the destination. I did not put my home address, I put the charging station at Kaufland where I charged this morning. Let's see if I can reach that. It's really very nice because before the computer says here I cannot reach my destination with that battery load. But I'm driving downhill very very long down the Swabian Alps and during that the battery charged a lot. Around about 10 kilometers charged. And now it says here it's 44 kilometers until the destination and the battery status says it's still 51 kilometers load to reach the destination or well, until it's empty <laughs> in 500 meters turn left so i think i can reach the sta charging station where i left this morning after 300 meters turn left b28 towards route lingen it's interesting because here in the Echo I can see today I drove a distance of 339 kilometers and here the battery status says still 50 kilometers to drive. So maybe if I'm lucky I can reach the 400 kilometers. That would be really very cool if I can reach the 400 kilometers with one battery load and that's that's with the Q90 engine not with the R90 with the Q90 which is consuming a little bit more electricity than the R engine let's see I'm really really excited if I can if I can do it oh I'm driving very fast now I should slow down a little bit I'm driving already almost 90 I need to slow down a little bit to save the battery. Now I'm passing by Metzingen. That's the outlet city. That's the city where Hugo Boss came from. That's where he's originated. After 800 meters, keep left. Sometimes I go there to buy Hugo Boss stuff that's quite cheap because there's a lot of yeah, second hand choice and outlet six hundred meters. Keep left at the fork. Really nice. I drove already today 354.7 kilometers and the battery status is still 40 kilometers left. Here it says 26 kilometers until destination. Oh you see just right now the battery alarm starts. Bottom left the red light it makes beep 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 it alarms me because the battery status is Across very very low second exit L384 well I still have 15 kilometers to go but the, the indicator here shows nothing there are only dashes in front of the kilometer on the left side Let's see if I can reach it or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, now it gets critical. <laughs> On the right side it says limited performance and suddenly the car gets slower. Oh, 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 oh. In 500 meters, take the exit on the right. Now I need to take the exit, yes. And that's better. Now I drove already 388.5 kilometers since charging. The battery indicator is still blinking and I cannot use the cruise control anymore. If I like to use the cruise control, nothing happened. I need to power by myself. Well, actually I passed by the public Kaufland charger, what I told you before where I like to charge. Because I I like to do the 400 kilometers with one battery load. The next charger where I like to go, where I like to go is maybe 
two or two or three kilometers away from here. I hope I can do it. I drove already 394.4 kilometers. And the maximum power is really very, very limited. I am giving full power right now, but the car is not doing more. It's going up the hill slightly. I hope I can beat it to reach the charger there in front. I really do full power, but that's maximum speed. It's not driving fast anymore. The charger is maybe uh, less than one kilometer away. So I think I cannot do the 400 anymore, but 396 I can do. I'm really press the pedal full power until the bottom takes maximum speed. Here it's going slightly downhill. But the charger is just a few hundred meters away. So I can Turn reach that. When possible, L415. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I can reach it. The charger is just there in front, 200 meters away. But I press the pedal full maxi. It's, <laughs> it stops, it stops. So now I'm really only maybe two, 250 meters away from the next Pappling charging station with 22 kilowatts. But I cannot drive anymore. The car is not moving, not even a little bit. Nothing. That's what it says here. Select power. It's going slightly up. If I just release the clutch, uh, the brake, it's rolling backward already. Shit. So now I connected my smartphone via the, the USB cable with the USB plug of the car. Then I can press here menu, services. Then next side, Renault Assistance. And now probably I can call them. Let's try. Yes, it's dialing. I think it's working. Looks great. So, I called the Renault Assistor service and uh, that was a very very friendly woman from Berlin and uh, I told her where I am and she said yes uh, she will contact the next uh, service guy with a car to pull me to the charging station <laughs> but the problem is this Renault service, where the guy is coming from, is round about, uh, let's say, 40 kilometers away where I am. So the push car needs to come from 40 kilometers to push me 200 meters to the charging station. <laughs> That's very crazy. Then I told the, the girl at the phone, said, hey, there are also other Renault dealers near me. That's no problem. She said, no, no, that must be a special special service to push that car that cannot do anyone so, okay so she said she will send me sms when uh, the guy will come here i don't know yet it's already 10 o'clock in the evening it's getting dark i hope it's less than one hour when he will arrive here Woo! <laughs> it's really crazy now finally the Renault service came, it's from Albrecht, maybe you cannot read it, it's very dark. The guy came with his wife <laughs> to pull my car here to the charging station. Very perfect, a very good service from Renault. Thank you very much, works perfect. It's working, it's charging 0%, great, but it's working, 
I'm so happy. <laughs> cool, perfect. So that's the charging station and it's charging. Now the Renault Assistor service is leaving. Was a very, very nice guy. The battery is now already charged up to 30%. I will unplug the cable and let's go home. So this was my video about hypermiling, or let's better say hyperkilometering with my Renault Zoe car and trying to reach the 400 kilometers distance with one single battery load. Unfortunately, there was four kilometers missing to reach the 400 kilometers. And as you can see, the Renault service, the Renault Assistor service, for picking up when uh, you're running out of battery, it's really a perfect service. The tow cart driver, the push cart, the push car driver, tow cart driver, <laughs> he told me that service is a very, very high standard service. He don't need to worry about payment about anything. That service is as good or even slightly better than the Porsche service when they need to pick up a car. He said they will pay everything. That's a very, very perfect service. Okay, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell to push the bell button beside the subscription button. So you will get informed right now whenever I upload a new video. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.